Bossing, skilling, guides. Hey guys, what is up? It is Scuzzy, and welcome to a brand new series. Now I know I'm, I'm working and, uh, you know, I don't have as much time for RuneScape, but uh, I still wanted to bring out this new series. It's going to be called something like... Um, how OP is that? Or in, in a better term, I mean, for what that stands for, it's overpowered if nobody knows. I mean, we use the phrase OP all the time, talking about this game as well as other games. Sometimes we even use it in real life. But I'll let you decide if this method is OP. Now, with the start of June this year, 2017, Menaphos, the new city, in the desert was released and with it if you finish all of the quest lines in Menaphos itself then you can get access to the soul altar some people were making videos about this but I want to show you something that I found that I thought would be a pretty cool method now if you have tier 6 reputation in the Imperial District you can actually use a teleport tab that I have in my pocket slot item if you look and it will teleport you to the front of the Grand Pyramid in Menaphos. You can then use a bank if you're tier 6. Like I said, uh, you can use the bank there and bank all, you know, instead of do using Edgeville and running through the Abyss. Now, hear me out when I say this, but what I believe is to be the best method, and feel free to let me know your thoughts and if you have anything that will be better than what I've shown here. But for all intents and purposes, this is what I've found. Um you can use the bank there then run to the soul altar as i show in the video and sit there for anywhere so it's basically like 125 seconds of afk time but then you go back to the imperial district and then do it again and the reason why this is good is because this banking time is a lot faster than banking at edgeville you don't have to go through the abyss. You don't have to do all of that stuff because you're not actually gaining the experience at the moment. What you're doing is you're charging the soul altar. The way the soul altar works is you charge it with 100 pure essence. You put it in and you convert it after that to 25 charges. For every, pure, every four pure essence you put in, you get one charge. And for every one charge you have in there, you get one soul rune. So actually... I, you know, I kind of like how they did the balancing. You don't get as many runes, but you do get a lot of experience. Now, if you do it this way and you're really good, you do it the best that you can. Without bonus experience, you can probably see around 475,000 experience per hour. That's pretty much the maximum you're going to find. You tell me if that's OP or not. I made the 1 in 99 runecrafting guide a couple of weeks before Metaphos came out. I kind of had a feeling that they were going to bring the soul altar with Menaphos, but I felt like I needed to do it anyways because I didn't want to wait another month. It had been like two or three months between uh, the 1 to 99 guide, so I was like, you know what, I'll just throw it out, and then I will work on whatever comes out next. So that's what's going on here. I'm looking at the OP method of that. So, I mean, I would recommend doing this from whatever level you need to do. I don't even know what level you need, but from that level to 99, I would actually recommend doing soul runes. If you don't care about, like if you care about overall efficiency, I would say do this. So let's get into the nitty gritty of the actual method. It's very, very similar as opposed to um, Abyss Runecrafting rather than rune span. You have the action bar set up for all your stuff. Uh, if you if you need a guide for that, go to my 1 to 99 guide. I'm not going to discuss that here, but the thing that I don't have in the other video is actually a mobile perk switch, which you can either use for your wilderness sword or even your top or your legs. I would recommend actually doing the legs or the sword because the body is the one I think you put the pure essence into anyhow. So uh, do that as well. So I got all this stuff keybound onto the bar. So you should um, follow that. You know, you can move it a little bit, but I wouldn't move the pouches too much because you need to have them in a specific order to be able to get all of the pure essence in there. So you want to be able to bring 100 pure essence to the soul altar. And if you're already at soul altar stuff, you probably have access to all the things that I have here. Most likely, I mean, if you're going for 120, you pretty much definitely have all that stuff. 
unless you know i don't know whatever you just bonus experience or whatever or spins or whatever but so you run from the bank to the soul altar which is shown in the video and I mean, you can kind of tell in the video where I'm surging and stuff like that, but I would search once for, through the first great gate and then another time through the second gate. And when you get to the soul altar, I would go into the uh, into the waterfall or the fountain, sorry, not the waterfall, into the fountain and then surge. But just after you surge, I would put on your ethereal legs because you need the full ethereal outfit. I'm saying it wrong again. I, I don't care at this point. But you need that full outfit to get into the soul altar once you've opened the soul altar. So you can't wear uh, you can't wear your whatever, your mobile switch when you're going through the actual altar. You have to wear full that full set there. So once you get in there, you charge it for 125 seconds, then you bank again. You do that until your thing is fully charged. And then you'll bank again so you go and you charge your first 25 then you charge 25 more so you now you're at 50 you charge another 25 so now you're at 75 you go and you charge another 25 more and then you bank again so you do four trips at first right then you go and you use the wilderness sword to teleport to edgeville bank at edgeville have a different preset because you want to have a demonic skull as opposed to the uh the tablets that you have also i should note that it takes time these tablets are not tradable but it doesn't matter because it only takes like three seconds to make each one of those tablets and you save way more than three seconds when you're doing this method a really fast runner in the abyss will get a 40 sec 46 second lap most of you probably won't get the 46 second lap so when you do a lap in metaphos It'll be a lot faster. I clocked like 28 seconds. You know, even if that's 35 seconds, that's a lot. It's like 20 seconds faster than probably the average person at the abyss. So I would say don't bank at the abyss unless you're ready to get that full experience. And that's uh, something I've been looking at other people's videos. And they I don't know if it's just because they want to be, you know, casual or whatever. But, uh, you know, this method will get you around 475,000 experience per hour. So I hope you enjoyed. I probably left something out. If I left something out, then put it in the comments, and uh, I'll get I'll get to you pretty much as soon as you post the comment, unless I'm at work. But I hope you enjoyed, and let me know what you think about this type of series. It will include, like, OP crazy methods, like including stuff that I used to use back in 2014 to get the experience that I did back then, even though, you know, newer methods uh exist so it would kind of look into the history of what i did for my experience back then but also it would give you up-to-date op methods you know i think a lot of people would be interested in that and uh so thanks so much for watching and i will see you friday for another video peace Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great day. Follow me on social media and subscribe for more. Peace. Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come